Hi everyone and welcome to search and analysis. In today's video we will discuss how to run Harman single factor test in SVSS. Common method variance or common method bias occurs when the variations in the responses are caused by the instrument rather than actual predispositions of the respondents that the instrument attempts to uncover. So as a result you will get the results that will, will be contaminated by the noise stemming from the biased instruments. Harman single factor test is one of the technique to identify common method variance. If a single factor will account for the majority of the covariance among the measures, then it is concluded that the substantial amount of common method variance is present in your data. Let's discuss how to use Harman single factor technique in SPSS. So, this is the data we have. Uh, you can see the data view and the variable view. First of all, the demographic variables, then I have the details of all of my items that are used to measure different constructs. So in the toolbar, you will see all these options. Just go to Analyze. And in Analyze, you will, you will see this option, Dimension Reduction. This particular option we will use whenever we need to conduct exploratory factor analysis. So well, just go to Dimension Reduction and click Factors. And first of all, just, uh, just select all your items that are relevant to a particular study. For instance, we have just selected up to this point. But for example, if all items are included in the study, so you can just select all of them. Then just go to descriptives. We do not need to make any change here. Then go to extraction. In extraction, first of all, just look the method. And from the method, just select principal access factoring. And then just click this one, fixed number of factors, and put it to 1. Continue. Then go to rotation. And since we are do not need to use any rotation, so we can just put it to none. In options, OK, we do not need to make any change and just click OK. When you will click OK, uh, so this is how you will find the results. And in the results, just look this second table and here see if the single factor is account for a variance greater than 50%, that is mean that there is a serious problem of common method variance in your data. But in our data, since this particular variable is far less than 50, so we can conclude that there is no problem or threat of common method variance. So this is how uh, we can calculate Harman single factor test in SPSS. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, remember to subscribe and click the icon to receive the notification of every new video. Thank you.